kindness. We thank you for your love. We've been in heavenly places and blessed from above. We've been sharing all the good things the family can afford. Let us turn and preach for heaven and pray. to the house of the Lord, and um, we just pray this morning that the Lord will bless us, Amen. and he will grant unto every one of us a heart of gratitude, Amen. so that we are able to return praise unto him. It's our turn to sing together, and our first song will be CGS number 12, CGS number 12, which is all hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Brother Mike Olabi will be our songs leader. We want to thank God for this morning that he brought us together once again in his presence. Um, it wasn't everyone that went to bed last night that woke up this morning um, that the Lord counted us worthy. We just want to praise him and we want to also recognize his presence in our midst since we got here. Um, we've had our Sunday school for our internet audience. If you weren't part of our Sunday school, sorry you, you missed that, but we're just starting our service now. And we've had an organ stroke um, um, piano voluntary um, given by Mike and Godwin. And then after that, we heard the choir sing, um, let's just praise the Lord. And so as I said, it's our turn to praise the Lord. This is Apostolic Faith Church. We are Bexley Branch and we're located at number 13, Penn Hill Road, um, that's DA53EP. For our internet audience, if you live locally, we would appreciate if you come to worship with us one of these days. Um, otherwise, sometime when you might be visiting, it would be nice to just stop over and share in the joy of the Lord with us. Meanwhile, um, you are able to enjoy our service today, and we can assure you that the blessing that the Lord has for us here will reach you wherever you are located. Amen. God bless you as Bro Mike comes forward and lead us in our congregational singing. <laughs>
Amen. Amen. Just to remind you, today is the first day of the twelfth month of the year. Yeah. For eleven months, God has kept us, Amen. and we are now at the beginning of the last month. Yeah. We need to sing to His praises. Yeah. Let's take number six six four. Our hymn book six six four. Let's take six six four. Our hearts are full of joy. Amen. Why? Because we have found the golden way. Amen. The way of the Lord is the golden way. Yes. We take first two and one, two, and the last on this one. One, two, and the last. Our hearts are full of joy. Take another song, number seven. The tune is the orchestra will not play with this one, but the organist 174. Number seven, <clears throat> our Father and our God accept our songs of Amen. praise. We have brought the sacrifice of praise to the Lord, yes. and we pray Him to accept our sacrifice of praise. After the tune, we'll sing verses 1, all the four verses. Verse 1 and 2, sitting down. Verse 3, we stand up, and 4, we sit down again. 1 and 2, sitting down. Verse 3, we stand up, and then 4, we sit down again, because we have more songs to sing. Let's sing with all our heart, our Father and our God.
Amen. 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 Our song before prayer is going to be 34. To God be the glory. 3, 4. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. He has done a great thing. For keeping you and I standing upon our feet today, it is his grace. It is his grace. So the first sacrifice we are giving him this morning is sacrifice of praise. With our musical instrument of the lips and tongues. And we pray that he will accept our sacrifice. We will take verses, um, the three verses standing up though. And at the end of the last verse, we we'll remain standing. After we, we shall be led in prayer. Let's sing heartily because we are already blessing the Lord and he shall bless us. Amen. Let's listen to the orchestra for this before we sing. To God be the glory. <laughs> in prayers, Brother Ukwe will come forward to lead us. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, the King of all glory, 
We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for this morning. If it were that the decisions of our lives and our future was left in the hands of the devil, none of us would have been here today. But we thank you, Lord, that you've overruled. You have overruled. You have overruled. And for this reason, Lord, we bow in adoration, praising your great name, honoring you, thanking you. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for sins forgiven. Thank you for pardon. Thank you for every time we have offended you. We know you are loving, Father. And we come back to you and say, Father, we are sorry. And you take us back. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Amen. Glory be to your name. Amen. For those who were sick, whose hope were gone, and you have raised them up. Amen. Oh, Lord, this morning, we join hearts. We join the mind. We join our tongue to say thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, for the women who, during childbirth, it was like today. The day will not pass. But Lord, you overrule. Today, they can see their children running around. And no oh Lord, because you prevailed against the devil. Because you live, we can see tomorrow. Pray me to your name. Oh Lord, for many of us whom Satan vowed that poverty will be, will be stricken poor. You have come to make us rich. Oh Lord, we praise you. You have given us the blood of Jesus to make us rich in the abundance, in the abundance of the salvation, in the abundance of the knowledge of God. Oh Lord, we worship you. Those of us who would have been rotten now in the grave, oh, your mighty hands has helped us. Oh, glory be to your name. Lord, many things has happened Many things have happened in our lifetime, but we, leave, we see you as the conqueror. Ah, wherever danger were to suffice, you have stayed our feet, that we may be blessed. Many of us, we have flown in the air. Oh Lord, and you have landed us safely. We thank you, Jesus Christ. We have prayed as if there will be no tomorrow. You make us to see the light of day. We thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, for sheltering our children when they go to school and you return them safely. When we go to work, we hear of evil. We hear of many things that happen in the society. But you have given us the land of Goshen and you kept us safe. We praise your name, oh Lord, for all that you are going to do today. We worship you in advance. Glory, honor, majesty, and praise be to your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we shall now listen to the first special, um, which is going to be a solo by Tokwe Ajibola. He looked beyond my faults. After that, we'll have our Bible reading to be brought from Psalm 95, verses 1 to 6, and Nsikak will be the one to read that. And then we'll have the last special, which is, is your all on the altar. That's going to be a trial by Tokwe Ajibola, Christian Aulaududu, and Mike Owolabi, after which we'll have the word of exhortation to be brought today by Brad Loeto. God bless you all.
Bible reading is taken from Psalm 95. Psalm 95, 1. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with sounds. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, yes. and he made it. His hands formed the dry land. Yes. Six, and the last. Oh, come. Let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Amen.
Let's open together to the book of First Chronicles, chapter 16. First Chronicles, chapter 16, I'll read from verse 7. Verse 7. Then on that day, David delivered first the psalm to thank the Lord into the hand of Sapphire and his brethren. Verse 8. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Amen. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continuously. Remember his marvelous works that he had done his wonders, and the judgment of his mouth. Amen. We thank God for today. Yeah. We thank God for what he has done to us yes. over the whole year and even beyond. We thank God for what he has been doing and he will continue to do so. Amen. We just want to pause and give thanks. Just pause and give thanks. I was trying to come up with an acronym for pause, but I end up with praise almighty until struggles expires. Amen. Just pause Amen. and give thanks. Amen. You know, we live in a life that is like a wheel. It keeps on going round and round and round. From one victory to another victory. I didn't want to say from one struggle to another struggle. You know, just because I chose to say from one victory to another victory is the mindset. You know, I don't want to be identified with my troubles. But rather, I would like to be identified by the victories God has given me. May, be, may that be your Lord. Amen. May that be what is in my life. Amen. When people see me walking past, they will start counting the blessings of the Lord. Yes. They will start saying, oh, I remember the Lord did this for Loeto. Yes. The Lord actually appeared to him Amen. and did this and this and this. Amen. I don't want us to be remembered for our struggles. And unfortunately, our mindset, our lifestyle is to talk about how hard it is. And I don't know whether it resonates with the ethnic minorities. We always tend to talk about how hard it is. Maybe it's for all generations. But it seems when, when people look at us or at anyone, they only see troubles. They see struggles. But God can change that. Amen. It's how, what we talk about. What we choose to sit down and chat about. When I come to you, do you chat to me about how hard it is? Or you choose to look back at the last victory that God has given you and say, the God that did for me, that, this one is nothing. Irrespective of how scary it might be. Brethren, let's not tire to count the blessings and name them one by one, the songwriters say. And you'll be surprised what the Lord has done for you. Yes. At least this year we have, met, we have victoriously lived nine months. Eleven months. I've already subtracted it. Eleven months, which equates to about 330 days. 
there is something to praise God about. I remember very well when we started this year, we used to come here every day to pray. We separated a, a, a whole month or so aside to pray to God. We laid all our requests at the altar. We came in night after night, day after day, to cry to the Lord. I encourage you this morning, Bless you. Amen. let us just pause yes. and just give thanks to God. Yes. For he has done great things yes. in minor things or major things. In those trivial things and those significant things. I just want you to consciously take your mind back across the whole year, even years before, and ask yourself, aren't we indebted to God for praising him? Have we praised God enough for all the 330 days of this year? How many times of those have we put aside and said, I'm just going to thank the Lord? How many of those have we put aside or have we constantly praised the Lord out of the bottom of our hearts? We spoke about someone said on Friday when we were think, thanking God that not just a snapshot prayer of praise, but rather meaning from the bottom of our hearts, saying it as we mean it, that we're really, really grateful to God. I can look around and I can see victories to do with health. So many near misses. One could say, health-wise, that God have given us that strength once more Amen. to see the first of December. Yes. Yes. That health alone, yes. that we can lift our hands, God. that we can walk unaided, God. that we can be here to share a smile once more on the Lord's day. All glory, all honor, all majesty to the God of heaven. For he has made it possible. Some of you, maybe, or some of us, we've put prayer requests concerning our loved ones on their health issue. But God has answered our prayers. We've prayed. For journey messes on the road, I can't count how many times we have been on the road or how many hours we have spent on the road, or we can't count how many hours we have spent on the road over 50 miles an hour, something ferrying us around, or 70 miles an hour. I'll stop only there. And grace for those who went beyond. <laughs> and still the Lord has kept us. Amen. We have heard of near misses. Testimony of brethren. Telling us of the accidents that they have been involved in. But the Lord spared them. Amen. The Lord has protected them. Amen. I was just counting this year. It happened that I have traveled a lot by air. And I have almost done a hundred hours in the air. And I can still clearly remember most of them that for every journey I have made, I've, I've, uh, I've felt turbulences. And you know when you are hanging up there, oh, yeah. any movement, right. it, 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 you feel it. You feel it and you think, Ooh, any any mistake, any mistake of that shaking, some are mild, some you can feel them, some you can even hold, 
How hold your dear loved ones when the plane starts shaking? But the Lord has spared you. Amen. The Lord has protected me. Amen. Some have been to cruises for leisure and they've seen the seas roll. Some have seen the quietness of the sea. It's a scary thing to look to your front, backwards, sideways, and you can only see water. Any mechanical or electrical fault on the cruise ship, irrespective of how big and luxurious it is, it is a big problem. But the Lord has protected us. If you are a Londoner, you've been underground many times. You've been overground, ferrying, going quickly by the rail. None has derailed. None has been stuck underground. You know how big that tube is? We live only a few millimeters. Thank God I'm involved in the construction of underground rails. You only leave a small millimeters between or well, not a lot, between the, the train and the real concrete. But God has protected us. Amen. There hasn't been any earthquake that shake the earth and anything or calamity came upon us. It is worth us to pause. We must pause and think and change our mindset. I was telling myself it was easier for me to come here and preach about something else. Because you, you can come with all energy and all analyzes from all different perspectives. And you hear the resounding amen of people connecting with you. But I was thinking, have I been really thankful for all the things that God has done for you? Even if it's just a simple sermon, just to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all the wondrous things that you have done for me. For all the things that are, we, we have neglected to go back to God and say, thank you, Jesus. We travel by night. Thank God for the country we live in. We come here at nine, at night to thank God. And we some drive, some take the public transport. It's just simple and acceptable. May we not take that for granted. Is the, is the blessings that, because God has put you in that place, you can catch a bus at night, at nine, we live here sometimes at 11, like last Friday, and some will take a, a bus. Some will take a cab, will turn up, a stranger will take you back home, and you wouldn't even think twice. I don't want to sound like doom and all that, but I want us to take things and reflect things and look them from a different perspective of how God has been wonderful to us. I don't know how many people have been killed this year for worshiping God freely. But God has granted us that. We can go into the streets and proclaim the goodness of our Lord. We can have the courage to talk to anyone the way we like. Some of it, maybe we are not even saying it right. We even sometimes provoke people by trying to do our best. But nothing has befallen us. It's not because we are better. It's not because we have done anything much better. It's just that God has found it good to us to find ourselves in the place that we are at. Life might have taken you somewhere else. Life could have taken you anywhere else. But it's pleased the Lord Amen. for you to be here. Yes. For us to be thankful to God. Yes. 
May God help us to thank for all the facilities. I'm just enumerating them for us to awaken our conscience for all the tiny things that we might have overlooked. We thank God for the NHS. You know, I nearly got into the trap of saying, oh man, you have to wait four hours to be seen. But if you don't realize that in other areas, you need to pay before you could be seen. In other, even developed countries, you, you pay, you have to have an insurance to be seen, just to be diagnosed. In some areas, you, you might not even make it. Thank God for the roads. Amen. That we can drive on them Amen. without having to duck every second. <laughs> we thank God for what he has done for us. Amen. You know, David, in the scripture that we have just read, he had gone through a lot. If you look at those, that first chronicles, he had lived a life that he had to run for his life. He had lived in caves. He had lived away from home. He had lived a life that he was running every time for his life. In the previous chapters there, we, we, we read about Saul being killed and him being now given to be to be, to be the king of Israel. We read also about how in his joy that he wanted to, to, bring, to bring the altar to the house, to where he wanted to prepare it in Jerusalem. But in the midst of that, calamity struck because the, the ark shaked and someone was trying to touch it. And that man and his and that man died, and he was even scared. I'm just wondering how has been this year to you? Has it been struggle after struggle? Has it been difficulties? Have you tried to invest in yours? It was like as if people make money and you are losing everything. But I want us to just pause and praise the yes, Lord. Amen. Irrespective of how, what, what calamities were following David, even after that, trying to do the rightful thing, something strange happened. Is that has been your year this year? Even in the midst of that, he had to go to war against the Philistines. And God gave him victory. But he had a heart that was full of gratitude. Which God should give us that heart, those hearts. He penned this where I was reading. 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 7. Then then on that day David delivered first this psalm to to thank the Lord into the hand of Asphah and his brethren. Verse 8. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice. Thank that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgment of his people. He just wanted to, that few bit to see the majesty of God, how majestic God is. I believe we have seen the majesty of God. I remember this year, I think it's this year, 
that brother Owen came over here and testified how God delivered him. Yeah. Just from hearing other brethren's testimonies, you can see how God is great. Yes. He talked about him being kidnapped. He didn't have any hope. He was facing death. But God spared him. Amen. But God delivered him. Yes. How he might not know, but what he knows now is that he's got a testimony yes. that God did it for him. Yes. We are here because we, most of us we've been saved from our life of sin. For God so loved the world. He sent that only begotten son. That if we be only believe, we can move from death to life. We should be able to thank God for that. For because while we were yet in our sins, Christ died for us. His love was extended to you. His love was extended to me. We should always, always be thankful to God. That most of us, because of that decision we made to follow Christ, because of that decision we made to accept that gift of God in our life, our lives changed for good. Our life direction completely changed. I've grown up in coming to this church. I can tell you that I've seen changes in people's life. Amen. Hang around a bit for long. Amen. You will see the wonders of our God. Amen. Not outside, but inside here. Amen. You see people come in here. And they get saved. Amen. And 10 years later, yeah. not even 10 years, 5 years later, you cannot connect yeah. that person's life yeah. with how they turned up. God is wonderful. Yes. He is still doing his yes. wonders. Yes. He is still saving. Yes. If you are not saved, God can radically yes. change your life. Yes. He can make a new thing out yes. of you. Yes. Yes. Verse 13. All ye seed of Israel, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. Yes. His judgment are in all the earth. Yes. Be ye mindful always of his covenant. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and of his oath unto Isaac, 17, and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Amen. Hasn't God been present in all times for his own that are saved from their life of sin? How, you, know, you know, we can sometimes take for granted the assurance of God that irrespective of what's going around us, we can have that assurance that God has our back. Amen. That is the covenant we have with our Christ. Because he, he saved us from our life of sin, we can all, always be rest assured that God will take care of us. Amen. Irrespective of the turmoils, irrespective of how it is, God will take care of us. Amen. Above all, the hope of heaven. Because of that covenant, he has prepared a place for us. Mansions. We have an assurance of life after death. That is because God has come out of his way, made a plan for you, and now he's saying, live this on earth, and I have a better place for you. What a great covenant to be in. I challenge you if you are not in that covenant. Verse 18. Saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. When ye were but few, I'm reading from 1 Chron Chronicles chapter 16 verse 19. When ye were but few, 
even a few, and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Amen. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. We can count the promises of God day and night. We can count the promises of God day and night. Amen. I can look around and say, and, and, and remember the testimonies of some say, I came from a very, very poor home. I was nothing. But through Christ, Amen. you are, we are, most of us, we are living an affluent life. Amen. From a life that you couldn't even think of where food will come from. From a life sometimes where you couldn't even get income for your family. An affluent life is not a very, very rich life. An affluent life is a life that you can achieve your needs. You can now provide for your family. You can eat, you can sleep, you have a bed to go to. You are even now striving for the want. We have to be thankful to God. He has given us so many promises that we can hold on to him and say the God that promised this is still the same God. God has protected us from all the bullies, whether at school, whether at work. They exist everywhere. And he said he will reprove kings for their sakes. He reprimanded them when they try to touch you. It's not because you are very clever that those bullies don't harass you. They are there at schools and at work. And if they dare make your life miserable at work, the Lord has appeared for you. We have heard those testimonies. Even at school, when they try to bully you, another guy who you don't know can step up for you. And you wonder, wow, how did he step up? step up for me. It is because of the wonders of our Lord. Verse 23. Sing unto the Lord, O the earth. Show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen. His marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods, for all the goods, gods of the people are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Amen. Glory and honor are in his presence. Amen. Strength and gladness are in his place. Amen. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Amen. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Amen. Bring an offering and come before him. Yes. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Yes. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable, yes. that it be not moved. Yes. Is God not worthy to be praised? Yes. In the beauty of his holiness. Yes. You just need to admire God's greatness. We spoke this morning about his his creation, and how God is great. He has created everything around us. Even the hard land that we never, we never appreciate enough, just for the fact that we are walking on earth, and we still have that gravity to hold us to still walk. We should be grateful for that. Maybe God has given you an opportunity to see the waterfalls around the world, how beautiful they are. Maybe God has given you the opportunities to go around and see the glaciers and see how beautiful they are. 
maybe God has helped you to visit our garden here and see how the flowers are beautiful. Or even all over, wherever you go and see the beauties in the flowers, all that is created by God. Yes. All that is clothed by God. Yes. May God deliver us from this life of entitlement. You know, if you feel that you're entitled for something, you can't see the goodness in anything. If you feel you're entitled to something, we, 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 we may neglect how God has done, what God has done for us. Because in entitlements, that means you don't have to thank God for anything. May God change our minds. Amen. May God help us to, when we look around and see your brethren, be happy to see them. Be thankful to see them. Don't have the entitlement of saying, he didn't call me. Only when you're entitled, that's when you worry that he hasn't called you. Because you feel that they have the obligation to do it to you. But it, whether they have called you, whether they haven't called you, if you have a heart of thankfulness, you will pick the phone when you remember that, brethren, and call them. Yes. And say, oh, we thank God. Amen. Whether they told you they are sick or not, you will still tell you, when you hear about it, you will take the, call, the phone and call them, oh, we are praying for you. Yes. We thank God for the victory. Amen. May God change our mindset. Amen. May God help us to see things from a different perspective. Amen. May God every morning, every second, open our eyes to see the wondrous things the Lord is doing amongst us. May we pause. May we pause and give thanks until all the struggles expire. May God give us a joyful heart that we may praise him day and night when we come to the altars of prayer just to praise the Lord.
Lord, we thank you. Our Father, we worship you. We adore you, O Lord. We praise you from the bottom of our heart. Lord, we are very thankful. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Lord, for your blessings that are innumerable, that we cannot finish counting. Lord, for those that you have done, the ones you are doing now, and those you will still do. Lord, we praise your holy name. Accept our thanks and praises, O Lord. As we go on our knees and we praise you more, we ask that you give us the spirit of praise. Help us to appreciate you, O Lord. Bless us and make us a blessing. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen.